Well, what's the matter? Beautiful. Don't you like the atmosphere below? <laughs> Sammy! Yes, Monsieur Marco? Put her in there to port. Beyond that barge. Putting a gritty in her place. You're trying to show him? Leave me. in charge. No, no, the patron's on his way. He was an upper deck or on a case, but we got a message through to him from headquarters. Left about an hour ago. Be here any minute. Good. Well, how long? For the rough guess, I'd say eight to twelve hours. The sacking kept the body warm. Yeah, she looks as though she'd been beaten up about the face. It's called hypostatic staining. A body left face downwards means that the blood gathers beneath the skin. It looks like bruising. But she was strangled no more than that. Mm, that was enough. It sounds like the pack on that. Mm -hmm. Finished? Yes, for the moment. Strangled. About eight to twelve hours ago, he thinks. I should be more precise when I've done the post-mortem. Don't be too long with her, Inspector. The sooner the better. All right. Who found her? One of the bargees, Pellegrini. Let's have him. Uh, doctor, 
Ask him to send in Pellegrini, will you please? I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. Was she like this when you found her? Exactly. Poor foe, the lock keeper, had uncovered her. Mm -hmm. I turned her over for the photographers, then put her back. The arms folded over the breast like that? Yeah. It doesn't fit. You toss a body down, cover it, leave it. Those arms, what do they remind you of? Figure on a tomb. Yeah. Want the mission? Uh, yes, coming. Who's this? Pellegrini. You don't mind? I don't like to come too close. You tell me you found her? Yes, this morning. I woke up with such a pain in my ear. It was the heel of our shoe. Yeah, you spent the night on the sex. Yeah, just to, to sleep. Were you drunk? We had a good time in the cafe. Mm. I don't remember how I got there. Yeah, a Scots my witness, I never lay a finger on her. Who is she? Never seen her before in my life. May I never take another breath if I tell a lie. The lockkeeper says he was swinging from the lights at three this morning. She was dead by then. That's good. That's good for me. Yeah? Hello? Inspector, can I go? Where are you bound? Next ah, yes, lock up, no, 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 number 15. No. Eh? You can go. Oh, thank you so much. You don't know you take such a lot off my mind. <laughs> oh, his breath confirms his story. Good job. You didn't strike a match. Mm. What have we got here? Porfo, the lockkeeper. What can we do for you? I found a clue. Mm -hmm. What have we got? Where'd you get it? My dog had it in the bushes out here. Maybe it's hers, eh? Maybe. Ah, it's a terrible business, Inspector. You ever seen this woman before? No, she's not of a barge, I tell you that. Mm. I know the barge people, Inspector. They work hard, they drink hard. Sort of the earth they are. Mm. Anything uh, of interest, Luca? No, very little. Have to wait. Wait for the fingerprint, boys. How many crafts were tied up last night at Lock 14? Three. Southern Cross, Pellegrini's barge, the Concordia, and the Providence. She's the Gunnell's barge. Where will I find them now? Well, Lock 15, I shouldn't wonder. At the Gunnell's Cafe. They'll all be there. It's a good place to eat. Anything else I can do for you, Inspector? No? Mm -hmm. Then I'll get back to the lock. She wasn't one of us, you mark my words. Salt of the earth, the barge people. Salt of the earth. Salt of the earth, yeah. Have you had a good hunt round here? Yes, there's nothing. Uh -huh. All right, we'll take a look outside. They can take enough. Where's the lock? Uh, just there. All right, boys, you can take it away. This lock, 14? Yeah. Used to be all horses here. Heads down with old men leading them. And now, it's all noise and diesel fumes. They keep bodies in this table. Mm. You better follow her to Paris. Right. Where can I have the photographs? Uh, Peter went into Moe to develop them. Mm -hmm. uh, get hold of him and ask him to meet me at lock 15, huh? It's five kilometres. Do you want the car? On a beautiful day like this. Ah, no. I love the canals. Au revoir. This is terrible. You woke up and she was there, huh? Beside you? We got a show in my ear. Oh, what a terrible thing to have on your mind. How can you eat? I can't. I should think not indeed. Jean, you're back. Oh, it's good to see you. Come on, give me a kiss. Oh, you great big baby. 
Well, just, just stand there because everybody's looking at you when I'm making a fuss. Come on, I'm actually expecting you. I've got something for you. Come on, you great baby. So I'm a baby, yeah? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Served you right. At least he doesn't get drunk like you do. I've got something very special for you. Just wait there. Oh, oh isn't he the handsomest little man you ever saw? That's my other great baby. He can make little pussies better. What's the matter with it? Something the matter with his back leg. Madame Marcel had him. She was going to drown him. Don't people make you sick? Here you are. Here's your dinner. Come on. Ori! Jacques's back. Your dinner's ready. Right, Georgine. Thank you, monsieur. That's something I've always wanted to do. Any time. Chief Inspector! You wouldn't like to do that again for the papers, would you? No, oh, thanks, Peter. Once is enough. Well, you got the photos for me? That staining on the face must have made it very difficult. It's a good likeness, though. Good, that's quick work. Now, would you like to get some copies off to Luca in Paris? Au revoir, All right, sit down. Not after you this time. Were you all at Lock 14 last night? Yeah, we were there. Any of you know her? If it's about the dead woman, we don't know anything here. Uh, this is Inspector Maigret from Paris. Are you Madame Ganel? Yes. We don't know anything. Well, don't you think you ought to take a look first? No, she's not off the barges. You can tell that from a picture. You get to know your own. My husband and I are barge people. Oh, yes. Salt of the earth, eh? You've been talking to Four Fu at Lock 14. Mm. Hard workers and hard drinkers. That's oh. what he told me. Now. Is there anybody here who was not blind drunk at Lock 14 last night? John wasn't. He doesn't drink. Your husband? No. John works our barge, the Providence. You can talk to him if you like. Where is he? Having his dinner, but he won't know anything. It's the police about that poor woman. What are you going down, monsieur? Monsieur? No. No. Not off the barges. No, that's what I told him. That's Jean. He runs a providence for us. We own it. He works it. Uh, are you at Lock 14, aren't you? Yeah, he was there. Have you seen her before? She's dead. It upsets him. John, come and sit down and finish your meal. Now, forget about the photograph. There's a good boy. What's wrong with him? Five years ago, we pulled him out of the canal. My wife sort of adopted him. He's, he's like a baby. But, but he's a good bargeman. Don't you want some more, Jean? I've got a nice piece of camembert. I must go. I must feed them. Jean, come and finish your own meal first. Come on now, there's a good boy. Come along. Come sit down again. There you are. talking about his animals. He's got a lot of pets on the barge. He calls them his friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's another one. I've just given it to him. Poor little sick kitten. Scratch. Sorry, we can't help, monsieur. Yes. Excuse me, monsieur. Right, yes. Coming, Six monsieur. Minutes. Ah, there you are, madame. We're waiting. Two cognacs, large ones. Monsieur. Chief Inspector McGray, are you from the Southern Cross? Is that a crime? Monsieur Lamson? Monsieur Lamson owns the Southern Cross. He doesn't like being questioned by the police. That's an acquired taste. Were you tied up at Lock 14 last night, Monsieur? We were. The body of a woman was found early this morning in the old stable near the lock. She was strangled. Well, so what? What's it to do with us? Well, you can begin by telling me if you've seen her before. 
Marcel! Well, monsieur? I think this is Marie Therese Lamson. She is, or should I say was, my wife. Are you one of the crew? I am the crew. Mm. Arsene, who is it? The police. I give the inspector a drink, will you? Will you? Not for me, thanks. Who is this? Uh, this is Madame Carmen Negretti. Large brandy, will you? What's happened? Hey, ask me what's happened. Really? What has happened? Marie's been found dead at lock 14. Murdered. Oh, mamma mia. You don't mind I've had a stiffener before you start your questions? I've had rather a shock. Marie dead? I... I don't believe it. No, go and wash yourself. That can wait. Is madame your guest? I'll be honest with you, Inspector. There have been certain little irregularities in my life. Madame de Gretti is one of them. As for the rest, my crew there, Sammy Antoll, is also my valet. You have already met Marco. What does he do? He practices the art of being indispensable. <laughs> when did you last see your wife, monsieur? She left the boat three days ago. None of us have seen her since. Left? Just walked off? Well, she's done it before. It was the same at our house in Paris, sometimes a week, sometimes longer. Uh, she always came back. We didn't interfere in each other's lives. Was there someone she went to? Some man? Well, only Willie there. Hmm? Do you know where she went? I didn't pry. Or why she went? What was it to me? It was because of the girls. That's why she went. The girls? She means the two young ladies who came aboard at St. Cloud. Uh, they wanted to ride, so why not? They were grown up. <laughs> why don't you tell him the truth? Huh? A pleasant cruise, they called it. Marie was insulted, and so was I. You do this to me, eh? You think I played a second field and say nothing? You! Oh, Marie, mia piccola. I told you to go and wash yourself. I'm not to hell! You do rest in the party, get puts the party of the sena. Puts, Jordan, and not the puts. You must forgive her, Inspector. <laughs> she and Marie were very devoted to each other. <laughs> what were the names of the two girls? Hortense and Susie. <laughs> but that's all we knew. All three of them got off Monday night at Mo. But Marie intended to come back. But she took hardly anything. Look, all the things are still here. Is that all? Not much? Oh, she took a bag. Oh, I saw it. It was about this big. She didn't need many clothes on a boat. <laughs> Did she need uh, jewellery? A necklace. Wasn't she wearing it? No. Then there's no more mystery. Somebody saw the necklace, murdered her and stole it. Was it valuable? She had it before we were married. She seemed to think so. I'm no expert. I wouldn't know. Right, the boat stays here until I get permission to go. And ourselves? Everyone stays here except you, monsieur. I'd like you to come to Paris with me to identify the body. I'll wait for your show. Good ship Southern Cross, eh? You wonder why she kept running away. Why did you have to go grabbing oh, about the girls? Leave me alone! Uh, Willie. Mm. I'll have the necklace. <laughs> oh, that's good, Marcel. That's good. You mean you haven't got it? Yeah. 
Yes, I see. Right, Monte Carlo, 1954. Yes, and can, when was can? Can, 1960. Right, now listen, there are five charges for procuring. Is that right? Five. Thank you, George. Mm -hmm. yeah. on, uh... Yes, you're right. He's a lovely lad, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I got the uh, forensic and autopsy reports. Sure, what did they say? At approximately half past eight last night, <coughs> I had a ham sandwich and a glass of red wine. Mm -hmm. She was killed about three hours later. Well, at that time, there's only one sober person in the area, and he was asleep. Mm. What about forensic? Her fingerprints only on the bag and contents. Mm. Anything on the clothes? Smear of Stockholm Tower on the skirts. Stockholm Tower? Mm. She was on boats, didn't it? Yeah. Southern Cross? Possibly, or a barge. Everyone's so certain that she wasn't off a barge. Come in. No, it's not on. Morning, hey, what about her marriage to Lampson? I've got LaPointe checking. He's a ship owner, the Lampson line. Seems there's uh, some talk of bankruptcy proceedings. He's practically ruined the line. At the moment, all he owns is the Sutton Cross. Hmm. His crew on the Sutton Cross, Sammy on tow, was once a seaman with the Lamson line, but no record. Willie Marco? Ah, uh, sweet petrol. There are five convictions for procuring, and he was convicted also in Monte Carlo when he tried cheating the customers. A croupier? Yes, and convicted again in Cannes when he got more ambitious and tried cheating the customers and the house as well. A croupier? And he said he didn't know the value. Well, they know the value of everything. What about Madame Negretti? Wife of an Ecuador general who nearly became president but ran out of bullets. Lampson mm. picked her up in Bordeaux. Mm. That leaves us with the late and seemingly unlamented victim. It's these arms folded across the breast that get me. It's a mark of love. It doesn't fit with turning the body face downwards. Unless someone knew what that might do to the face. Only a doctor would know that. What did you get on the yacht, Petrol? A sick stomach. Terrence, I yes, want you to go to the landing stage in St. Clue. See if you can pick up two young ladies by the name of uh, Hortense and Susie. They work the pleasure boats. Hortense and uh, Susie, eh? You'll enjoy that. Uh, thank you, Petrol. I shall be delighted. Still got Lampson waiting. Has he identified the body? Yeah. Get anything from it? No. What do you make of Lampson? What can you make of any of them? I'm going to let him stew for a bit before I ask him some more questions. Well, take a look at this. Mm. There's Mo. There's lock 14, 15, 16. Now, she leaves the boat at Mo. She's missing three days. She picked up at lock 14. That's one, two, a three-day trip. What does that mean to you? She never left the canal. I think you put your finger on it. Come in. No, no point. What did you get? A copy of Lampson's marriage certificate. He's been married four times. This was her first, Paris, 1958. Marie-Thérèse de Manche, born 1930. Rue Bastide, ici les Moulineaux. Have you been out, have you been out there yet? Well, it's rather a long way. I wondered if I might take a taxi. Taxi? Taxis are for Sergeant Senior Grade. Luca, you better take charge of it. <laughs> Taxis at your age. Send Lampson in now, will you? Right. Now, here's a little job that you can do. My Metro. Go to this address. I want to know what that contained, who bought it, and how much it was worth. Missonnet, Rue de la Paix, Metro. Now, oh, Monsieur Lamson, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting so long. There's a few more questions I'd like to ask you. I think you'd better sit down. Thank you. Now, Monsieur, I understand you married your wife. In Paris, in 1958. Yeah. What did you know about her? She was living in a hotel at Nice. Mm -hmm. There were various men. She told various lies. But I wasn't interested in them. She was fascinating. That's all I know. Hold on here, will you? Mademoiselle des Mouches, monsieur? Mademoiselle? Yes. 
Felice, may I come in? I do, straight through. Thank you. I'm trying to find someone who may have known uh, Marie-Thérèse de Monch. Yes, monsieur? Uh, according to our records, she used to live here. Do you, by any chance, know her? Very well indeed, monsieur. Ah, good. Then perhaps you can identify this photograph. Oh. I'm sorry if it's a shock. Uh, she's dead. There must be some mistake, monsieur. A mistake? I happen to be Marie-Thérèse de Monch. You, mademoiselle? Well, who's this? This woman got married in your name. Now, to do that, she'd... She'd have to have a copy of your birth certificate. And she wouldn't dare use that unless she knew you were still single, so she must have known you. I you... think it is Marie Tournay. Marie Tournay? We were at school together, at the convent. Uh, she hardly sounds like a convent girl, from what we know of. When did you last see her? Oh, one night she came here. She said she was running away. There was some trouble with a man, and she wanted money. She was my best friend. I took the money from the till. Did you hear from her again? Only a card, once, from Toulouse. To loose. She was beautiful then. Lucas, come in here, will you? You're coming. Yes, yes, I know, but well, that's all the information I can give you. Well, I'm sorry, but well, Tony is not a very common name. Well, do the best you can, quick as you can, right? Lucas. Sorry, I was on the phone. The devil's happened. Everybody around here. It's two hours since I sent uh, Le Point out on that simple job. He's probably walking out of spite. Oh, I suppose he'll make a detective one day. I put the Toulouse boys on a Tracy Marie Tournay. Mm -hmm. They'll not be hopeful. If she could change her name here, she could change her name anywhere. Oh. Yes. Ah, La Point. Where have you been? Walking to claim the Metro Fair? Oh, hmm? Sorry, Pat Trine. All right, come on. Let's get on with it. What did you get? Well, it's an old-fashioned sort of case, but uh, they used to use them for their more expensive stuff. What do they think it contained? Uh, well, probably a diamond or sapphire drop necklace. Good. Worth? About 100,000 francs today. 100,000? Well, that should be very useful to Lamson. Yeah. And not only to him. <laughs>
won't make any trouble for you. I know she was with you, but I won't tell them. I swear to God, I won't tell them. Where did you say you found him? Where the canal joins the river. We got him out and brought him here. But I wouldn't let anyone touch him till you and the inspector arrived. Ah, Doctor. Another post-mortem for you. I'm cancelling all other appointments and keeping the whole week free for you. So, Margot had it all the time. And he... he thought I killed her. Sorry. So... Don't believe him. It's lies. All lies. He killed Marco. He killed them both. I saw him. I saw him, assassino. You saw him do it? <laughs> he's a devil, you know. And now he's running me out. Fifty francs he offered me to pay me off after all I've done for him. Fifty francs. Oh, be quiet. You saw him kill Madame Lamso. You know, he has taken everything from her. Everything. All she had was, was a few clothes and her necklace. And that he wanted from her. He said, you know the only way you can get it? She said, from my dead body. Oh, be quiet. From my dead body, she said. It's true, it's true, it's true. And now I don't care anymore. You can keep your dirty 50 francs. Oh, you can keep them. Do you deny it? No. Now, you see? What did I tell you? Huh? Did you kill your wife? It's possible I don't remember. Huh? Don't oh. remember, it's lies. Liar, liar, Sammy, liar, yes. nothing even. Puchardo, there was say. a lot to drink, Puchardo. you know that. I tried to make my way back to the yacht, but I couldn't. The, the Sammy uh, found me asleep outside the cafe. Uh. That's true, I had to carry him on board. I don't remember. But I didn't kill Marco. When I returned from Fadis, he'd already left. He must have known where she'd be, or he. You wouldn't have found the diamonds. Hey, what about me? He's got to pay me. You've got to make him pay me. He's already offered to pay you, madame. What you're worth to him? Fifty francs? <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Yeah, I heard. Did you hear fifty oh. francs? Per colpa tua, tua maledetta il giorno che ti ho incontrato. Maledetto te guarda, che ti fossi per tutta l'inferno. Well, Doctor. Your victims choose uncomplicated deaths. That's one thing at least. What about that arm? Broken, snapped clean. Oh, there's some scratches on the hand. Huh? Well, let me know if you want any more space at the morgue. Thank you, Doctor. Cat. His friends, he called them. That's how one of them has betrayed him. The man who works Gunnell's barge. Yeah. Ah, I wanted it to be Lamson. I wanted it to be one of them. Janet? He's in the store. Look, get rid of that. Get hold of La Pointe. And they ought to have uh, traced Marie to Nebana. Right. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Look, can't you keep him quiet? Take him in the other office. Hello. 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 Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. You can. You can. Listen. I've got the lot. Ah, good work, Lapointe. Yes? She used her own name. Well, that's obliging of her. Married Dr. Jean de Charmbeau. De Charmbeau. Go on, I got that. They were? What was the charge? Jointly charged. And the sentence? <laughs> to 
simple enough question, Janelle. Stockholm Tower, do they use it on the Providence? Yes, but after... All right, thank you. That's all I want to know. No, that's very good work, Lapin. No, no, I mean it. Hortense and Susie? Um, Let them go. Oh, they can go. We'll go back to their yachting. Oh, they think it's funny, too. Patron, I think we're home. Yes. The dead woman, Marie Tournay, married Dr. Jean Descharmeaux in 1953. Now, before that, she was companion to his aged aunt. Yeah. The aged aunt was very wealthy, very neurotic. The aged aunt dies, was found to be poisoned. Nephew, Dr. Jean and Marie Tournay jointly charged with her murder. Now, he swore she had nothing to do with it. She got off. He got ten years and he served eight. You can guess the rest. He came out, found that Marie had not waited for him, tried to drown himself in the canal. You knew that about him, didn't yes, you? Yes, but no more than that, Inspector. I swear, did my wife found an old newspaper cutting? Where is she now? She must have heard me telephoning. Liar! Claudia! He's a good man, Inspector. He wouldn't do anything wrong. Wouldn't he? Florio saw her cycling up the towpath five minutes ago. Towards Jean. We can't get the car on the towpath. We can't catch him on foot. Where have you got to now? Upstream, lock 16. Ring them. See if they've let the Providence through yet. Yes, sir. So Jean was the doctor. Jean de Chambeau. That explains why the body was turned face down. But why should he want to destroy the features? Well, he thought he'd married a perfect woman. An angel, but she was corrupted by her own beauty. Ah, and that beauty had to be destroyed. Yeah. In the Middle Ages, they would have called that exorcising the devil. Hmm? When he'd done that, she was pure again, so he crossed the arms over the breast. Sounds like a raving lunatic. Jean's only gone hell urgent. Have you passed the providence through yet? Right. Not gone through. We only have got to now, then. There's a place he sometimes pulls in to collect feed for his pets. How do we get there? It's the longest way by road. Yes. Five kilometres through the village, you come to some fire and... <laughs> No, it was you. You've got to get away. Look, I brought you this. I'll send you some more later. Did you hear? John, answer me. I don't care if you killed her. That woman, she she deserved it. No. No. The old woman. She wouldn't die. More life. More years to count her money. Marie had nothing. Why shouldn't she have what she wanted, eh? Huh? She was beautiful. She was my whole world. And they wanted me to say Marie made me do it. No, no it's a lie. I did it! I did it! Those are the pilots. He's down a bit. The turn will be in that wood. There he is. How do we get through this lot? Let's try there. Take the money and get out of here. She didn't love you. She never loved you, can't you see? She was here for three days. And they didn't want her. They wouldn't eat while she was here. They wouldn't come out of their cages. Take the money and go. They didn't want her, eh? They didn't want her. She tried to leave her before. You heard her say that. This time she would have stayed. But it was you. You. You made me kill her. No, John! You were just let you. Whatever they did.
What did he do to you? <laughs> At least she knows what she's dealing with now. Where'd he go? I, I don't know. I don't know. When did he go? A few minutes ago. He tried to kill them. Kill who? The animals. He said that they hated her, that they drove her away. Kill the animals? There's no sign of him. <laughs> you can't. He's gone berserk. He's working his way through the list. First Marie. Then Willie Marco. Lampson. Who else? I'll get the car, Luca. See if I can beat him to it. Right. Get his bikes on. I want a world record for the distance. All right. At all costs, we must stop him getting aboard the Southern Cross. See ya. Try to stop her coming back here. Maria. It was good. Yes. She was good.
Southern Cross. Chance, Luca. Ships that pass in the night. They shan't bore him, are we? And he'd never have met. Chance in a million. But they did. She came back to him. For three days. What was she hoping to find? Herself. She was lost. Sick. But she was too far gone. So he had to kill her. Like one of his pets, huh? Oh, come on. You look terrible. Where's your coat? Oh, way up the stream, I... Yeah. Right. Well done.